now we are going to see the next topic which is the impedance z so what is impedance impedance is the total opposition offered by inductor capacitor and resistor to flow of an alternating current so like in the last lecture we have seen uh, the inductive reactance and capacitive reactance so inductive reactance is the uh, opposition offered by inductor and capacitive reactance is the opposition offered by capacitor to flow of alternating current so uh, if we if we connect three components uh, in the alternating in the ac circuit resistor capacitor and inductor okay so if uh, all of these three components starts opposing to flow of alternating current that amount of opposition is called as the impedance z so what is the impedance impedance is the total opposition offered by resistor capacitor and inductor to flow of alternating current that value of opposition is called as the impedance okay so uh, we can say that all these three components resistor capacitor and inductor opposes to flow of alternating current okay the amount of opposition offered by all these three components to flow of alternating current that amount or that value of opposition is called as the impedance and notation of impedance is the z so uh, we can represent impedance in the two ways one is the rectangular way and another is the polar way so in a rectangular form value of impedance z is equal to r plus x so r is the resistive part of the uh, circuit and x is the reactance part of the circuit so z is equal to r plus j into bracket xl minus xc x is nothing but the xl minus xc xl is the uh, inductive reactance and xc is the capacitive reactance so in a rectangular form value of impedance is uh, z is equal to r plus j xl minus xc okay in a polar form value of z is equal to mod of z at the angle of theta where mod of z is equal to under root of r square plus x square okay so here we have taken mod of z because that uh, mod of z gives us always the positive value okay so sometimes that xl minus xc gives us the negative value too okay if xl is if you see uh, in the bracket x is uh, x is uh, replaced with xl minus xc okay so if xl is greater than xc then xl minus xc gives us some positive value and if uh, xl minus xc uh, if xc is greater than xl then xl minus xc gives us the negative value so uh, uh, what is the difference is uh, there is no matter what is the difference between xl minus xc we have to get only the positive number in uh, for the impedance value so we have taken the mod of z so value of mod of z is equal to under root of r square plus x square okay so x is replaced with xl minus xc so value of mod of z is equal to under root of r square plus xl minus xc square so uh, value of theta is equal to tan inverse of x by r okay so x is replaced with xl minus xc so tan inverse of xl minus xc upon r is the theta so by putting this value mod of z and theta into the first equation we get the impedance in the polar form so in summary we can say that what is impedance the total opposition offered by resistor capacitor and inductor to flow of alternating current that amount of opposition to flow of alternating current is called as the impedance and impedance can be written in two forms rectangular form its value is z is equal to r plus j xl minus xc in polar form z is equal to mod of z at the angle of theta mod of z is equal to under root of r square plus x square x is the xl minus xc and theta is equal to tan inverse of x by r and unit of impedance is the z next one is the impedance triangle impedance triangle is the graphical way of relating the resistance r reactance x and impedance of the given circuit so if we uh, draw the graphical uh, graph of resistance impedance and uh, inductance uh, not inductance uh, any reactance okay then we get some relation or then we get the some graphical relation okay which is the right angle triangle okay so the graphical way of relating that a reactance impedance and resistance is called as the impedance triangle okay so we are graphically relating them okay 
by relating graphic uh, by uh, graphically relating them we get the right angle triangle we can uh, see in the figure that angle uh, that uh, triangle is called as the impedance triangle okay and it is the right angle triangle so that uh, triangle has the three sides impedance z is the diagonal one side is resistance r and another side is reactance x here inductive reactance is written inductive reactance xl so what is the uh, value of z by applying pythagoras theorem uh, diagonal square is equal to sum of two side square mod of z uh, z square is equal to r square plus x square so by uh, taking under root of it both the sides mod of z is equal to under root of r square plus x square okay and what is the value of r r is equal to mod of z cos of theta okay and what is the value of x x is equal to mod of z sin of theta here we have applied two formulas cos of theta and sin of theta okay and we get the final value r is equal to z cos theta and x is equal to z sin theta okay so in short we can say that what is impedance triangle it is the graphical relation between resistance r reactance x and impedance z okay that is the graphical relation uh, ship between a resistance r in the, uh, reactance uh, x and impedance z gives us one a triangle which is called as the impedance triangle and it has the three sides impedance z resistance r and inductance x by applying pythagoras theorem we get mod of z square is equal to r square plus x square mod of z is equal to under root of r square plus x square and r is equal to mod of z cos theta x is equal to mod of z sin theta important terms related to the power okay so what is power power is the rate of doing work okay so uh, in first few lectures we have understood uh, the what is electrical power electrical power is the rate of doing work or rate of uh, transfer of electrical energy through the circuit that rate of transfer of electrical energy is nothing but the power okay and there are basically three types of power first one is the apparent power second one is the real power and third one is the reactive power so what is apparent power so it is defined as the product of rms value of voltage and current if you take product of voltage and current rms value of voltage and rms value of current we get the apparent power yes and also it is called as the power supplied by the source so what is the power supplied by source to the any electrical circuit that supplied of power is called as the apparent power yes okay and its unit is volt ampere or a kilo volt ampere so what is apparent power apparent power is the plugged power supplied by source okay whatever source supplied power to the uh, electrical circuit that supplied power is called as the apparent power yes and unit is volt ampere or a kilo volt ampere what is real power it is defined as the power consumed by the load okay so whatever power is supplied by the source okay out of which uh, only some amount of power is consumed by the load okay so that amount of power which is consumed by load is called as the real power or the true power and its uh, value is p is equal to vi cos of theta and unit is watt so notation of real power is the p and its value is vi cos of theta and its unit is watt so theta is the phase angle or phase difference between voltage and current and its unit is watt and kilowatt okay so what is the real power it is the power consumed by the load whatever power is supplied by the source okay out of which some amount of power is used by the load okay that amount of power used by the load is called as the true power or the real power and notation is p value is vi cos of theta unit is watt or a kilowatt then reactive power it is defined as the power fed back to the source okay so power supplied by source is called as the apparent power power consumed by load is called as the real power and remaining power is fed back again to the source okay that fed back power or return power to the source from the load is called as the reactive power and its notation is q value is vi sin of theta and its unit is volt ampere reactive or a kilo volt ampere reactive okay so we have seen three three types of power apparent power real power and reactive power okay then power factor so it is defined as the factor by which the apparent power yes multiplied by uh, must be multiplied to obtain the true power so if you uh, have a apparent power yes 
and you want to determine the true power then we need to multiply some factor to the apparent power so that we get the true power that factor gives us the or that factor is called as the power factor so what is power factor power factor is defined as uh, the factor by which apparent power must multiply to obtain the true power so it is also called as the ratio of true power to the apparent power if you take the ratio of true power divided by apparent power which is also called as the power factor p by s is called as the power factor or a power factor is equal to cos of theta so cosine angle between voltage and current is called as the power factor also one more formula power factor is equal to r by z okay so we have a three formulas for the power factor true power upon apparent power p by s or a cosine angle between voltage and current cos of theta or it is the ratio of resistance upon impedance r by z okay these are the three power three uh, formulas we can use for the power factor so power factor always lies between plus 1 and the minus 1 so ideal power factor should be 1 but practically it may be less than 1 so uh, it is important factor for measurement of efficiency of the electrical appliance so the efficiency of the electrical appliance depends on the value of power factor of that appliance the ideal power factor of any appliance or any electrical circuit must be 1 but practically it, it it is less than it may be a less than 1 okay so that we can say practically that the power factor should be as high as possible or it should be near to the equal to the 1 okay so the efficiency is depend on the value of power factor then power triangle power triangle graphically relates the apparent power s true power p and imaginary power q so if you uh, relates graphically uh, apparent power true power and imaginary power it gives us the right angle triangle which is called as the power triangle so it is shown in the figure and it is the right angle triangle it has the one side which is the diagonal apparent power s which is equal to v into i it has the one side which is the real power p is equal to uh, s cos of theta s is the vi cos of theta and reactive power q is equal to s into sin of theta means v into i into sin of theta so graphical relation between uh, apparent power true power and imaginary power gives us one triangle which is called as the power triangle okay so with this we are going to stop here